Okay, this is the outline of my presentation. Uh, today I am going to discuss with you what is the impact of yoga practices on stress resilience in humanitarian aid employees. Uh, first we see what is stress. Stress is a state of worry of a mental tension happened by difficult situation. It usually happens when we are in a situation that we don't feel we can manage or control. Actually, in humanitarian aid employees, aid workers are openly export high pressure environment, unpredictable situations and emotional taxes, taxing experiences. Uh, as example, they may face traumatic experience like natural disasters, health crises like that, or they may feel insecurity they have feel security risk in political instability, insecurity forces, or they may feel isolation or separation because they spend a lot of time period away from their families and support. So uh, when compared with other workers, aid workers feel more stress and they face more stressful situation. That is the reason why I select aid workers for my research. Uh, when we are in a stressful situation, our mental, emotional, and physical state uh, should be will be changed. But uh, when we but stressful event has passed, when become normal. Then resilience means being able to cope with tough events like that. Uh, when something bad happens. It's normally we feel anger, grief, or pain, but we can able we might able to keep going both physically and psychologically. That is mean by resilience. I have some objectives to conduct this research. My main objective is I wanted to investigate what is the significant difference, whether there is a significant difference between who practice yoga and do those who do not practice yoga in humanitarian aid employees. And I have some specific objectives also. Uh, these are, firstly, I wanted to study the impact of yoga practices on stress resilience, and I wanted to examine the resilience levels, levels of yoga practice in humanitarian aid workers compared to non-practicing workers. Now I'm going to discuss uh, what are the methodology I use to conduct this research. This is the conceptual framework of my research. Confidence, emotional insight, negative cognition, empathy and social skills are my independent variable. In this research, I discuss how, affect, how these variables affect to stress resilience. This is the research design of my study. This is the overview of my whole study. So my population is humanitarian aid sector employees and my sample is 300 humanitarian aid employees. I got that sample from World Vision and Sarvode employees. Uh, I got minimal sample size at three, 278. That is the reason why I select sample size as 300. My sampling method is random sampling method because I don't have a specific criteria to select those humanitarian aid workers. So I use simple random sampling method and I collect data from web-based questionnaire. It means I, I send Google form to uh, these workers and collect response from them. Uh, my data analytics tool is independent details. I compare yoga and non-yoga employees' results using independent details by PSS software. Now I'm going to show you what the, what is the results I gained through this research. This is the descriptive statistic of my research. Uh, my variables are confidence, emotional insight, negative cognition, social skills, and empathy. Uh, I use same sample size for all variables because I want to get results with no bias. So I get equal sample size for all variables. 
when compare means uh, in here we can see in confidence level yoga practicing employees confidence level is higher than young yoga practicing employees confidence level so that has a positive impact in emotional insight this results also shows yoga practicing employees has high level of emotional insight than non yoga practicing employees so there has also a positive impact in negative cognition level actually negative cognition is a bad effect so we can see non yoga practice employees have higher negative cognition level than yoga practicing employees so there has also a positive impact when we comes to social skills it shows non yoga practices employees social skills level is less than yoga practicing employees social skills so there has also a positive impact finally when we come to empathy empathy level is also shows a higher level in yoga practicing employees so that is also proof that there has a positive impact from yoga practicing this is the graph results of previous table uh, it clearly shows how confidence emotional insight social skills and empathy has got higher levels in yoga practicing and negative cognition in yoga practicing employees get low level when we comes to independent t test results all those five variables got p value less than 0.05 in my study uh, my hypothesis on hypothesis is yoga practices have had no impact on stress resilience and my alternative hypothesis is yoga practices have been impact on stress resilience therefore these all p values are less than 0.05 so we have enough evidence reject it's not so in this research we can say yoga practices have been impact on your stress resilience when we comes to conclusion we can conclude that all p values of five variable less than 0.05 so this is a level all five variable shows stress statistically significantly improvement so we can conclude that confidence emotional insight negative cognition social skills and empathy shows improvement who practice yoga so it's finally uh, this research proof stress resilience in humanitarian aid workers and potential role of yoga is enhancing their well being uh, i think this research are valuable for organization who seeks to implement effective stress management strategies and improve their mental health of their employees finally i have some recommendation for this result for this research uh, for this teacher we can explore various yoga interventions like uh, we have different styles of yoga so we can uh, compare them and what, uh, we can see what is the best method and second recommendation is integrate yoga programs into workplace i think uh, that will be improve workers uh, well being in thirdly compare we have some other stress management intervention such as meditation physical exercise cognitive behavior therapy so we can compare yoga with other stress management interventions and uh, finally i want to recommend actually in our world these days in modern world we don't have enough time to go to yoga classes so something like that so if we can use technology such as mobile applications or online platform to deliver yoga interventions that may be useful for 
larger population. That uh, these are the recommendations of my study. It is the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you for giving me this chance and thank you for listening.